Hello all, welcome to rottrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we register a e-text template in Oracle e-business. Okay, so let us see the sample now. So let me log into the e-business instance. In the e-text template, there are two types of template styles we generally consider. One is fixed position, another one is a, like a, a delimiter base. Okay, or you can call it as a comma separated generally. So now let me show you the template which I have registered already. So I'll just click on home, Excel publisher home, and let me show the data definition first. So just say XX or a percentile E percentile. Okay, this is my sample, XS or a E text sample. And this is a data template based example. And now the query behind this one is, it's a very simple query, which is a HRMS data example. So it is trying to fetch the data from the per paper left, HRMS employee data. Now, this is a data template information. Now let us see what is a template layout, right? So there are two templates which I have designed. One is a delimiter based, nothing but a, in this example, it's a comma separated one. And other one is a fixed position one, nothing but each particular column in the output will have appropriate a fixed position, like a number of characters, I mean to say. Now let us start with the delimiter based. So in the earlier sample, I have explained what is this level and all this particular stamp thing. And now we here, if you observe, this sample is, is an RTF file. The file extension is an RTF file. And now initially, may I'll just try to give an overview again. So we need to mention what is the template output type you're expecting, nothing but template type you have to mention. In this case, it is a delimiter based, nothing but data is separated by comma. And then you need to mention a level table record. In this, it's nothing but you're trying to read a record data from your data file nothing but our XML file. Let me show the XML file first. So this is a query data template file and the output from this data template file is this XML file. And now in this one, the first record or a list record here, if you observe a list underscore G HRMS CMP data, and this is an actual record. And this information is generated based on the query group, which we mentioned in our data template XML file. Okay, the G HRMS EMP data. Now in the G HRMS EMP data, we have these set of Elements like a EMP ID, first name, family name, nationality, and etc. Now, in this particular level stuff, what we need to mention is just simply mention the record name and end level mention the same thing. And now in this one, you just need to mention what is the maximum length you want to have it and what is the data type of that particular column. And if you want to have a separator, you just need to mention for each particular record, you have to mention, I mean, so this is the first column, right? So it's a MPID. And next, let us say if you want to have some separator, just mention that, mention the size. Single element, maximum length is one, and just mention what's the data. Here we mention single quotes, comma, and here, what is the this particular data, whatever you mentioned, this is the actual XML element information in the output XML file, okay? And similarly, you can mention the remaining characters. Now, if at all, if you want to test this particular file within your local desktop, you need to have, you need to like a, this particular approach of you know, like a validating from this add-ins XML publisher will not work, okay? You have to test via XML publisher template viewer. This particular jar file will be available here. It will be available in the, your installation location of your particular XML publisher. In my system here, it is available in the XML publisher desktop, template viewer, TMPL viewer dot jar, okay? Once you open this, make sure that you select this particular option. And then in the left side, you select the data and the right side, you select the template which you have designed. Let us say in our case, this is the one and I'll click on and output format, make sure you select e-text and then click on start processing. It will generate the file and you can see the output in your appropriate notepad editor. Okay, this is the comma separated file and similarly, you can see the other file also, the fixed version template and just click on this one. Okay, now in this particular one, I could see the data is separated by appropriate set of characters, right? Nothing but each element is of appropriate set of characters. Once the template is ready, the next step is registration of the template. So let us see the how, what is the difference we use for the purpose of registration of this particular template, right? Let us see that XX or a Okay, so I have defined two templates. One is for the purpose of CSV and another one is a fixed position. Okay, let me click the first one. And the only important thing you have to consider is 
by default, it may have an option called RTF, but you have to select e-text outbound. So let us say in the update, I don't think it shows. Yeah, it will not even show it to change it. Let me try to design a new template. Just see that. Let's say create template. And here by default generally shows type as RTF, right? You have to mention e-text outbound. Okay, this is a very important information you have to mention while registering the template. Okay, let me register the third template also. Let us say, even though I don't have any other new one, but I'll just try to show for registration purpose. So I'll mention it as version two. Text sample version two dot RTF. Okay. Now I'll select. Here you mention the data definition. And here you can mention the application. Okay. Output type you can ignore and you just select the version to English. Apply. Okay. Now the template is applied and you can see that. Now the next thing what you can do is click on home and now just run the concurrent program. Let us see that. View run XX or a e text template. So by default, it generally shows the latest template which we have uploaded. Let us say if you want to select the other template, we can change it. But right now, let us run it as it as it is. Just click on submit and see the information. Yep. And you can see this is a comma separated information. And now let us say I want to run the fixed version template. What I'll do, I'll just select the same thing. I'll run the program now. And while running the program, I'll select the chain. I'll just change the template layout. Option, click on options and here just mention. And you can see the fixed position one. I'll select this fixed position one and click on OK and submit. OK. And now you can see the output. Okay, now this is a fixed version template. Okay, so this is how we can register a template which is of style e text template in Oracle e business. So, thank you.